Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios, Theo Dorsey is Theoretically Speaking. Streaming live on YouTube, here's Theo Dorsey. They say happy people are the ones who are also grateful. And I, I literally am full of gratitude, especially because I know that as I try and keep this golf game tuned up, I actually got some uh, some some friends that want to want to play when we go out there to Chicago. And I go out there to Chicago for the National Association of Black Journalists Convention. And I'm a little nervous to bring out them sticks sometimes. But what builds my confidence up all the time is the Kaiser University Golf Coaching Center. Got to be grateful for that, man. I mean, you talk about a 2,000 square foot indoor facility where you have three different hitting bays, ball flight technology. Also, you got video replay. So whatever is wrong with your swing or maybe what's right with it, you can go over that directly after your practice swings with your coach. Or you can take it outside into the elements. You got a driving range. You know what I'm saying? You also got a putting green. All kinds of areas and activations for you to work on your game with some pros. Get better at the game of golf. Everywhere you look out here in South Florida, there's a nice, beautiful golf course to go out and conquer. And if you want to tune your golf game up the right way, make your appointments today. KaiserGolfCenter.com. KaiserGolfCenter.com. Right there at the flagship campus of Kaiser University in West Palm Beach. Yes, Ikeda, I feel good. I feel like we got something done today. I loved yesterday's show. We had a lot of fun, but today we got to the business and we did settle in on our top two for NFL quarterbacks and we'll figure out the rest of the grade eight. The grade eight, which will be our eight top quarterbacks, a rotating list as we continue through the NFL season. Um, It's a good feeling to have that done because I will say, I remember like a couple weeks ago you told me you were going to pay somebody to come out and, and take weeds out of your yard. Like, yeah, you didn't want to get out there and handle it yourself. It's, it's overgrown and it's just not fit for my hands. I can't do that. No, yeah. Not my specialty. So the funny thing is growing up, I used to pull the weeds all the time at my house. That was one of my chores. And now as a homeowner here in South Florida, you know, the first couple of summers, I was like, man, I got this. I'm doing it on my own. And it was hard. It is hot as heck outside. You're sweating bullets. You're pulling these weeds that feel like they're endlessly just popping back up as you pull some out. So I will say, C-Cat, just like you you were man enough to concede the number two quarterback debate, I was man enough to finally fold, and I'm paying somebody to come and get my uh, my yard right. So, it's no joke. You don't want back pain? I had yeah. shoulder impingement. Look it up, people. It's a real <laughs> thing from holding the weed whacker. It now, hurt. Here's, here's the thing, too, though, with your weed whacker situation – um, did you ever get it fixed? <laughs> yeah. Did you ever get your weed whacker fixed? Sea cat, who I guess this is your first time with a weed whacker. Never had a yard. Like, yeah. I never had a yard in the places I've lived. Um, so a background story of it is I thought I broke the weed whacker because like the, the, the whacker part, you know, like yeah. the, what is the, the, the string? string that yeah. I don't know what the technical, the yeah. wire. Yeah. It broke. Cause so I went up against a tree that was a little bit too thick. couldn't handle it. It broke. Try to chop so a thought, tree with your weed whacker. Yeah. So I thought the, oh damn man, I broke my weed whacker. Those things are expensive, aren't they? Like four or five hundred bucks. He goes, "What happened to it?" I told him what happened to it. He goes, "You know, that's like the easiest thing to do ever, literally." And yeah, it turns out I didn't even need to buy more wire. I just had to open it up and pull it out. (laughs) So yeah, I went and finished the job on Sunday. That is actually um, absolutely hilarious, and another demonstration just of how I mean, our generation. I mean, if there wasn't for YouTube, I don't think we would know how to do anything. Change a tire. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it, I still watch a video to tie a tie every time I have to wear one. It, uh, Yeah, we are definitely less of men than the ones before us. But then again, we can always just blame it on them because they created us. Um, what we created here on Theoretically Speaking is a very fun vehicle. They hit all the top headlines across the nation, sometimes across the globe, including today. I know you're just getting off work. You haven't had time to, to check out everything, so we did it for you, and we call that vehicle the Get Around. The Get Around today brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches. We'll get to that, but first, let's get to our first stop. Next stop, we're in Dallas, y'all. We learned at SEC Media Days that University of Texas opponents will not be penalized for horns down. When, when, when. I, I was so sick of this, and for the past couple of years, with these folks out of Austin who, who are crying and mad or acting like they're so offended that people ditch your little logo thing down. 
But the U people do that all the time. With every other sports team, everything is fair game. But they thought they'd go into the SEC and get right. Now, I did have to run this thing by a Hall of Famer. I did have to try and figure out, get to the source of this. Why do people get so mad? Why do Longhorns fans get so mad at Horns Down? So, a guy that actually shares the same high school alumnus as me, Dulles High School, but also more so known for his game on the mound, Roger Clements. UT alum Roger Clemens, here he is back in January letting me know why they do get offended when people do horns down. What is so offensive about the horns down? Give the people the knowledge on this. Well, you got to understand, when you do horns down, it just tells me that we're in your mind, you know. Horns are always up, but when you do horns down, we're still in your mind. You're still giving it to us. You just can't get away from us, so just keep doing it. Absolute non-answer. Exactly why I think this is total crap from Texas fans, and I'm glad the SEC fought back. Clemens is like, oh, we're in your head. What? Next stop. Abu Dhabi. Team oh. USA dominated Serbia in its third exhibition, 105-79. to More importantly, however, Pete Center, Bam Adebayo, knocked down three triples, earning a nickname for LeBron James, and it goes like this. Slash brother. Oh, my God. The new Slash brother. Bam, bam, splash right there. Mm. (laughs) Bam, bam, splash. Now, this does excite me as a Heat fan because you always want your, your stars to go off to Team USA, develop more relationships. It was supposed to work as a recruiting pitch in the past, but we didn't get any of those guys. Thanks a lot, Damian Lillard. But also to develop their game and to show new things that they can bring back to the league. If Bam Adebayo comes back from this summer in Paris, with a consistent three-point shot. I'm talking like mid-30%, able to stretch the floor. And then you see that that, that rookie that he just drafted out of Indiana, Khalil Ware. Like, I know this is an abysmal heat offseason. They're not going to be contenders coming into this year. But there's something about that squad. And that maniacal man on the bench, Eric Spolstra, if he has an evolved Bam Adebayo, a re-inspired Jimmy Butler, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm starting to have hope again. This is why I said my, my relationship with the Heat as a Heat fan is toxic, Cat. And that same hope that you get, that optimism you get from Lamar Jackson and the Ravens during the regular season just to be let down, that's been me the past three or four years. And watching Bam splash it like that, I, I, the you, hope is back. You can't take anything away from USA beating down these Serbians. You I mean, cannot, that's, any, there's no validity to anything we're seeing Serbia's overseas. good. Serbia's good, but Bam is knocking down triples. I mean... Empty gym, a lot of bigs can do that, no? Like, you just cannot take anything away from these games. NBA fans, I beg of you, don't get your hopes up for any conversations. Don't get your hopes up for a guy developing a three-point shot. It's not happening. Watch the NBA games. Oh, my gosh. This dude. This dude. Is this because we made you decide that your quarterback's number two in the league? I, I don't like the pessimism coming out of CCAT right here. Next stop. Turns my frown upside down because we're going to Vegas. Woo! Devontae Adams that. goes on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. He sheds more light on whether or not he wants to reunite with Aaron Rodgers in New York. Similar to why I came here and um, and reunited with Derek was because I, I had familiarity with it, you know, and anytime you have that, it gives you a little bit more confidence than starting fresh with somebody that you never played with before. Right. And it helps that it, when they're the best to ever play the game, you know, or at least that's whoa, how whoa, I feel. Whoa. I don't know how, how, how you feel about that, but that's certainly how I feel. Yes, he's clearly and, one of the best. And, and he's, he's given me an opportunity to, you know, show the world what I can do. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, having him to start out with, I'm sure, you know, that you, what we were talking about earlier about, you know, people say, did Aaron create you or did this and that? No, but naturally, if you have a, a player that's a generational talent, you know. Definitely insane. help elevate you. Exactly. And you looked at the next year when I wasn't there with him, it, it didn't look the same. Raiders fans should be a little bit antsy hearing that out of Devontae Adams. Not that they're competing for anything at large this year, but the fact that he is so openly talking about a potential reunion with Aaron Rodgers out there in New York. I would argue the Jets don't need Devontae Adams. They got Devontae Adams at home. No, you ask your mom, can we get some fast food? We got it at home. Garrett Wilson is the younger version and should be a number one receiver this year. He should be able to elevate into what Devontae Adams was for Aaron Rodgers. And don't forget, they just went and got Mike Williams from the Chargers. That's not where they need more help is another top dog alpha receiver that demands 10 targets a game. They just need Aaron Rodgers to be healthy and that offensive line to be able to protect him. 
And that defense is a sure thing. So I, I don't understand what all this hype is about outside of the fact that people just love talking Jets. And I think it's Mike Greenberg who's driving this narrative the most. Kind of like it. Like Garrett Wilson is the hamburger helper to Devonta Adams is the McDonald's. Like, yeah, hey, you know the McDonald's, but Hamburger Helper's good. It's right there. We got it at home. You can even season it the way you want to. Just defrost the ground beef before I get home, and we're all set. Just a little bit more work. But all of the pleasure still right there with a guy like Garrett Wilson. That is your Baptist Health Orthopedic Care offseason football report. Devontae Adams not necessarily shooting down the rumors of him going to New York, though his agent did say they don't want out of Vegas. It's a weird situation right there around Las Vegas and also New York. Is joint pain affecting your quality of life? At Baptist Health Orthopedic Care, our team is experienced in traditional joint replacement surgery as well as new, less invasive treatments with the goal of returning you to what you love as quickly as possible. Learn more by visiting baptisthealth.net slash ortho today. Baptist Health Orthopedic Care combines its resources of experienced physicians and leading edge treatments and technology to provide advanced orthopedic, foot and ankle, joint replacement, spine and sports medicine care. Visit baptisthealth.net slash ortho for more information today. Baptist Health Orthopedic Care has offices conveniently located in Palm Beach County through the Florida Keys. Learn more by visiting baptisthealth.net slash ortho. That was the get around. And yes, yes, I, I do get it. It is what, July 17th. We are running out of things to talk about, but there's an actual receiver that demanded a trade in Brandon Ayuk, who is on the loose looking for a new deal in a new scene. Devontae Adams. I don't even think him going to the Jets moves the needle that much more in favor of them winning a Super Bowl. I don't think they'll do it, but I think it's more so about how good Rodgers can be and how he can develop that relationship with Garrett Wilson and make that offense something good. Um, C-Cat, we do uh, have an exciting thing because we had another episode of Hard Knocks that dropped last night. And it seems like the Giants are really being full of remorse right now. They're sad. But I'm going to tell you on the other side as we take you home, while the Giants will definitely not regret letting loose of Saquon Barkley. Theoretically speaking, on ESPN 106.3. Live from the Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney Studios, Anajar and Levine Accident Attorney.